Have you ever noticed how every second feels like it's running away from you? But no one ever asks whether time is actually moving at all. Because here's the strange, uncomfortable twist. According to physics, time doesn't flow. You do. Your mind travels through moments the same way a flashlight moves across a wall. The light isn't sliding. The hand holding it is. And before that makes sense, here's the conflict. The universe doesn't experience past or future. It only holds every moment at once, like a cosmic library where all chapters already exist. But consciousness reads them in order. Einstein called this the block universe, where your entire life is already laid out in space-time. Not as fate, but as structure. So the real story isn't that time passes. It's that awareness crawls from page to page, believing the book is being written as it reads it. That means nostalgia isn't you missing the past. It's your mind remembering a page it already visited. The future isn't something waiting to happen. It's a chapter your consciousness hasn't reached. And here's the climax. If time is a dimension, not a river, then your choices aren't you fighting destiny. They're you choosing which version of yourself you step into. So the next time you feel stuck in time, realize it might be the opposite. Time is perfectly still, and you're the one racing across the universe to meet yourself. If this thought pulled your brain slightly out of alignment, don't scroll. Share it, and see which of your friends suddenly realize they're not moving through life. They're moving across.